Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We got a nice quick show for you, so let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. It seems like Treyarch has been doing some meddling with the classified ending cutscene. Now, the community has kind of agreed that the ending cutscene shouldn't really be called an Easter egg, so I'm not going to call it that. But new evidence seems to point that Treyarch has changed the way you actually get the classified ending once again. If you didn't know, information that was received by leakers at the launch of Black Ops 4 pointed to the ending cutscene to Classified being activated at round 255. Once the game came out, people realized you couldn't get past around round 150 without blue screening playing the game legit, so we resorted to using a custom mutation glitch that only spawns in dogs, thus you can progress the rounds much faster, enabling you to get to around 150 without blue screening. Where it was discovered that Treyarch has changed the round you get the cutscene from round 255, which it was at launch, to round 150, where we know it was triggering. Well, it seems that Treyarch has changed that once again. Zombie streamer Old Brave One did a run on Classified using the custom mutations glitch just like everybody else did to get to round 150, trigger the cutscene, but when he got there, the cutscene did not play. Now at first I thought, hey, in the past I've seen people get to round 150 and the cutscene didn't trigger because they didn't do the custom mutations glitch correctly. So I DM'd Oh Brave One, by the way you can find a link to his Twitch channel down in the description, definitely drop a follow there, just to confirm that the glitch game was in fact being done on classic and normal difficulty where the easter eggs on the map were enabled and that being the mode and difficulty setting where the cutscene has been achieved in the past. He 100% confirmed that he reached round 150 in a classic normal difficulty game as you can see here. The leaderboards don't lie, he reached round 150 in a normal game on the classic setting and he confirmed the cutscene didn't trigger. Now this could mean a couple things. Number one, Treyarch has disabled the ending cutscene altogether until they figure out a way to stop blue screens happening at high rounds. As of this moment and still Nobody has reached round 150 on Classified in a legit game because they've crashed every single time. That's really sad, to be honest. There's option number two, where Treyarch has changed the round where the cutscene triggers, perhaps back to its original round at 255. We know from the leaks that at the launch of the game, it was round 255 to trigger the cutscene, Treyarch changed it to 150, so it's not that far-fetched to think that they could have changed it back to 255 once they realized that people were glitching to get it at round 150. If they did in fact do that, if Treyarch thought there was a way that regular players playing a non-glitch game can achieve it at 150 without blue screening, there is no way, 0% chance that people are going to get to round 255 legit without blue screening. Even doing the custom mutations glitch, nobody has reached round 255, they blue screened right after. In O'Brave One's run of Classified, where he reached round 150 and the cutscene didn't trigger, he blue screened on the next round 151. This game is not stable enough to get to round 255 legit. I hope that's not the change they made. There is a third option that Treyarch has somehow figured out a way to tell that a custom mutations glitch is going on and not to trigger the cutscene to play at round 150 in a glitched lobby, even though the game's settings are set to classic normal where easter eggs are generally completable. But there's no real indication of that at this time. Man, this whole classified ending cutscene thing has been a huge debacle, and the fact that nobody can reach round 150 legit without blue screening even now over a month after the game's launch to confirm that they changed the round is just straight up disappointing. But moving on to our second story of the day in well, hey, it might be more disappointing news if you really like Easter eggs within Black Ops 4, specifically within Blood of the Dead. We covered this story in the past Zombies News Update video. 
but there's been a recent update to it and that has to do with the spork knife easter egg within blood of the dead that's the upgrade to the golden spork on the map that gives you this awesome melee weapon that seems to have every indication that it's in the game right now but is currently bugged so it can't be completed however through the use of non-conventional means some zombies players on the pc were able to trigger the actual spork knife to spawn into your inventory so they were able to prove that the spork knife exists in the game files it exists within the map of blood of the dead itself and it is accessible to be gotten as a regular melee weapon so here's some super slowed down footage of what the spork knife looks like when it's being used within game of black ops 4 the item itself is extremely good and the people that were able to spawn this into the actual game were saying that it was one hitting wardens up into rounds like 75 plus x treric employee that leaked the steps to achieve this as he knew it stated that this spork knife easter upgrade quest is the hardest one to achieve within black ops 4 zombies therefore the reward we hope is befitting of that toil and it seems that is the case the spork knife is awesome when you actually get it in game but either we haven't figured out the actual steps to unlock it yet or it seems the quest itself is still bugged moving on to our third story of the day we got more updates from Treyarch regarding the current state of black ops 4 and talk to us about some things moving into the future of black ops 4 zombies they start off by pointing out that double weapon xp was live in zombies this weekend if you didn't know about that perfect time to hop in but they continue by saying quote and check back later next week for a very special double xp event we've also got another substantial game update planned next week which will include gameplay improvements across all modes the launch of nuketown and blackjack's shop on xbox one and pc new zombie stability fixes and much more they continue by saying the new patch once again brings in various zombie stability fixes so we have to look forward to next week another major game update into black ops 4 the last game update brought a speed cola into the map so hopefully this upcoming game update will bring something substantial into zombies as well now Treyarch themselves have addressed the controversy surrounding speed cola in black ops 4 if you didn't know, if you compare side by side with Black Ops 3 to Black Ops 4 on weapons that don't have any attachments on them, the reload speed in Black Ops 4 Zombies with Speed Cola is the exact same reload speed in Black Ops 3 without Speed Cola. So essentially reloads in general are much much slower in Black Ops 4 than they were in Black Ops 3. Treyarch addressed this by saying, quote, this week in zombies we introduced a modifier to the perk system lovingly known as speed cola in previous games that that increases weapon reload speed in black ops 4 this modifier adds a plus 33 percent reload speed improvement and then when combined with fast mags or hybrid mags on weapons that can actually use those attachments it will have a combined effect of a 50 percent increase which is the same as the highest increase in previous games however they failed to mention that a lot of weapons including all of the zombies exclusive weapons can't actually have the fast mags or hybrid mags attachment on them meaning that those weapons are just forever cursed to reload slower which by the way aren't you guys just straight up disappointed that none of the zombies exclusive weapons can actually have any attachments for them it really just makes me actively avoid using them because I know I'm not really getting anything beneficial from ranking up those weapons besides camos and besides the lack of attachments on those weapons make them much less usable than their regular black ops 4 weapon counterparts that you can just spice up with attachments that make them so so good this whole lack of attachments business makes me really concerned for black ops 4 dlc that they'll do what they did in black ops 3 add new weapons into zombies maps but not give us the choice to customize them in black ops 3 new weapons that were added into zombies maps had treyarch choosing what attachments they put on those weapons where we couldn't actually customize them like we could regular guns in black ops 3 
Hopefully they fix that for Black Ops 4, but this whole thing does not make me optimistic that they'll end up doing that for the DLC season. But hey, that wraps up today's show, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to tippity-tap that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more great Zombies news updates to come. A massive shout-out to everybody in the notification squad with that bell icon turned on. You guys are awesome. But I want to thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you with it. No, 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 cut the outro. Look at this gameplay. I'm right in front of the Pack-a-Punch machine. It doesn't even give me the option to pick up my Mozu. I run back to quickly try to pick it up once more, and it's just like, nope, this is my Mozu, not yours. Treyarch!